Hey guys, Rocco here. So we're going to keep this one rolling with episode 5 of How to Talk Australians. This one's on nicknames. It's got Hello Chopper under it, which is the bird from the last episode. So let's do it. Polly want a cracker? Fuck you! Bullshit! Bullshit! Fucking bullshit! <laughs> Get stuff! Wake up! Wake up! Piss up! Okay! Piss up! Testicles! What? What? <laughs> Just about got every derogatory term into that cocky's mouth then. Chapter 5. Alright! Fuck you all! Fuck you all! Fuck you all! Yes, well, he can certainly speak fluent Australian. Fuck it, don't shit! Okay, Wanker. should they please bring the Wanker. cover over? Tits! Huge tits! Maybe we shall Huge make Chopper think that it is better. Tits, tits, tits. Hurry up, hurry up. Definitely the cockatoos run its course as a joke. Chopper. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 Every Australian has a nickname, which is usually just a shortening of the proper <laughs> name. John Farnham. Fancy. Jimmy Barnes. Barnsey. David Boone. <laughs> Booney. Okay, I hope you all have your nicknames ready by now. Keep them really short. Aussies do not like too many syllables. They're extremely lame. She's wicked, huh? Excuse me, miss. Isn't that bit rude? No, no. My anglicized name is Leslie. I shot it. Lezo. <laughs> there are a lot of Lezos in Australia. I personally know one in Sydney. She's extremely nice. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I am also a Leso. Maybe you two Lezos should be <laughs> In fact, all of us can regroup. The Shaza sit together, the Mecca sit together, and the Devo sit together. Should we do that? <laughs> That's good. Are you two Lesos comfortable there? There are two chairs at the back. Or are you happy on the carpet? Hmm, you like the carpet. <laughs> at home, student Asnita is struggling to explain her new name to her family. But what's wrong with your real name? It is too long. But Asnita is a beautiful name. It's your birth name. Why must you shorten it? Us. That is too long for Australia. Fancy. Even their most famous outlaw was known simply as Ned, <laughs> which is of course short for network. <laughs> oh no, the Kellys. Your money! What is he saying? <laughs> your money! We want your money! I think he's saying give us all your honey. But we don't have any honey. I think it's the helmet. What? We don't have any honey! Money! We want your <laughs> money! Your money! He wants you, Sonny! We don't want Sonny, we want your money! Who's Sonny? Not you, I'm talking to them! Yeah, him! Call me Sonny! What? Who? What? You would better go. That looks pretty serious. Go on. Come on, Sonny, go. <laughs> In the Australian like... town of Glen Rowan, they have a giant Ned Kelly monument. This isn't it. This is a miniature version of the giant version. The Kelly gang consisted of brothers Ned, Bill, and Jim. But originally, there was a fourth brother, but nobody likes to talk about it. Are you, uh, are you sure this is going to be all right? Just put the body thing back on your head. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you, uh, are you sure this shouldn't be made out of metal? It will be fine. <laughs> we'll just go, but maybe start with a small gun. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
and tomato sauce in the ashtray. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, yeah, it wasn't the best, but that, that end bit made up for it for sure. Let us know what you think, guys, but yeah, these ones are good. I think Ned Kelly mainly wore the wore the armour when, when it was getting towards the end, when he was getting hunted and shot after. I don't think he used it to, to rob people. It'd be pretty hard to ride a horse on uh, with that armour on. <laughs> yeah, it was mainly just for the end shootout with the cops, I think. But yeah, we'll have to check that one and let us know what you think. Cheers, guys. Since they want to know. Since they want to know.